Hi, so I'm Matthew Batto, the mastermind behind horticulture. At the moment I'm just sitting here in my parents' house where I wrote and recorded the album. It's the 10th of September. Things are starting to get back to normal. I've started a job working at a school, a local school, teaching English. But basically at the beginning of the year I was living in Bogota, Colombia with my wife, Maria, and our daughter, Olivia. And, uh, well, well, my wife got a job in London, got offered a job. And literally the week after we arrived, um, the government enforced lockdown because of the coronavirus pandemic. So basically from mid-March until, what was it, June, we were in lockdown. So basically I spent three or four months sitting at my parents' house looking after my daughter, playing with my daughter. And basically writing music and recording music, which has now become the album Horticulture, which will be released by Moobly Crew um, at the beginning of, oh, at the end of October, October the 23rd, I believe. Sun rises to the east The birds sing to the west It's like the time I saw you first You were singing to me I've been looking back through my notes, through my phone, because I, basically I record most of my ideas for songs on my mobile phone. I've got, I've got, I've got an app called Voice Recordings, which has a kind of nice tape cassette feel to it. Um, and I was looking back at the ideas, and I found that the first recording I did for Dawn Chorus, which would be the first single. Um, was back in January, the 25th of January to be exact. And basically I came up with the first riff that you hear at the, at the beginning of the song. At the time, I labelled it, um, I labelled it Rich, Richmond-esque. Because basically, um, I thought it sounded a bit like a Jonathan Richmond song, the intro. So the idea I had, I imagined it was kind of Richmond, Jonathan Richmond-esque. If you have a listen, I can play it to you on my phone. So here's the first ever recording I did of it. First idea, first idea I had for the song. That's kind of the first um, idea I had for the song, and I slowly developed it. So that was in the end of January, so I was still in Bogota when I wrote that idea. And then I've got the same day, Richmond-esque lead intro. I'll play it to you. So you can hear that's that's more or less the same. Once you hear the single, Dawn Chorus, that's more or less the same. The riff that I end up using at the beginning of the song. Um, so that was the beginning of January. And then, as I said, we arrived back in England in March time and went into lockdown. Here's another one. This is the original idea for the vocal. Again, this is January. So the melody is kind of there, but it's kind of just basic lyrics. All I needed was you, my love. Often when I write songs, I just... I come up with a melody idea, but I don't really think much about the lyrics. So the first thing I do is come up with a kind of 
chord progression or a riff like I have here. And uh, I just sing random lyrics over the top, something basic. In this case, all I needed was you, my love. It's something cliched, you know. It's just to get a melody idea down, really. And later, I usually develop it into something more interesting. The sun rises to the east. You're in the west. But at that point in January, that's kind of where I left it. So that last recording was on the 28th of Jan. And then, as I said, we arrived back in the UK. It wasn't until we had arrived back that I started working on new music for the album. Because basically, once we went into lockdown, I thought, you know, I want to do something, I want to have something to show for this time. I mean, I'm not working. I've come back to live in my home country after years of living abroad. And so it's kind of like a time of... um, kind of coming back home for me, getting back in touch with my childhood self in a sense, seeing my childhood friends again, reconnecting with the nature that surrounds my parents' house, like the woods, that's just a five minute walk down the road, or the estuary, which is another five minutes in, in the other direction. So I was taking a lot of walks. So it wasn't until, what was it, the... 8th of May I've got here on my phone when I did another recording this time entitled Dawn Chorus and this is where I kind of came up with the idea for the other part of Dawn Chorus because beforehand I had the introduction and the um, kind of verse part which was like all I needed was you my love at that time although I'd later change it and then I have this on recorded on the 8th of uh, May in the early hours of the morning because during lockdown I wasn't working. Um, I wasn't doing much. I was just writing music. So I was up. I was having weird um, sleep patterns. I'd be up at like, I'd get wake up about 3 a.m. and work on music for three, two or three hours and then before my daughter got up. And then from about six or seven onwards, I'd be with my daughter until the evening and then I'd work on music again so basically my time to work on music at that time during the lockdown was early hours of the morning really so I did a lot of recording a lot of writing during that time and Dawn Chorus this part of it was written if I remember correctly about 3 or 4 a.m. maybe about 5 a.m. when the sun was starting to come up in May so it's beautiful weather we had like a really beautiful early summer and so I remember the sun was coming up and I, I came up to this other part of John Chorus the second part of John Chorus and then it breaks into the chorus it goes See there, there you get, it's not very good, but you get the idea. I've got the chords, G, A minor 7, D, and uh, I develop it a bit more into this one. You can hear my daughter talking in the background here. Must be about six, half six. there that's the the idea of the kind of main part chorus it's not really I mean Dawn Chorus isn't really structured like a normal song it's not like a verse chorus verse song basically has an introduction kind of verse part and then a kind of I guess chorus or main part that or middle eight that goes into an outro it's quite a weirdly structured song it just has like a crescendo and then this is the other bit. So this is when I kind of stuck the all the parts together. This is the same morning, 8th of May. That's 
a verse and I add it onto the So there's all the parts of the song together there. So around early May I'd written that. What's quite interesting is, what's quite nice I think about this is, the same morning that I wrote the song, that I finished the song, I guess, structure-wise, that same morning on the 8th of May, I also have recordings on my phone of birds, birds singing in my parents' garden, which as I said before, this, this kind of idea about at the time of reconnecting with nature because I was living for the last six years in Bogota in you know an industrial city where although you heard the birds sing there's lots of nature it's also a very industrial place a uh, very city so I'm back into a kind of like rural setting so I was kind of reconnecting with that and so I went out into the garden and I recorded the birds singing about you know, it's like the sunrise, half five, six in the morning. And uh, I think you can hear my daughter here as well. I think she was up with me. And I, I eventually used the recording of the birds that I made on my phone on the beginning and the end of Dawn Chorus, the final version. You can hear them here. This is like a field recording I made in the garden, so you can hear the birds. Couple of recordings there. So. Another one I did here. Birds too. You can hear it better there. These, so I think that's nice. I think that's nice because it has that connection between. It's the same, I think it's nice, I did it on the same morning really. I finished writing the song. I came up with the main vocals, the harm, the not harmony, the melody, and the lyrics, more or less. And kind of finished off the structure of the song on the same morning that I recorded the birds that I'd used in the song, in the final uh, recorded version. So I feel like Dawn Chorus just kind of happened for a certain reason. I mean, as I said before, it was about being connected again with my childhood, with nature. It also has that line about um, any day now, any day, you will find your release. So I think that was part, partly to do with um, the lockdown situation. You know, we were locked down, we were locked at home. Couldn't really see our friends. Luckily, we were living with my parents, so we could see my parents, but we couldn't see my friends. We couldn't see other members of my family. And it's quite a weird time because I'd just come back, as I said, from living abroad. I hadn't seen many people in the last five years, so it was a time where I wanted to see people and celebrate. And we couldn't really because we were just stuck at home. So this that line about being any down any day now. You will find your release is kind of about finding freedom um, or looking forwards to some kind of freedom after lockdown, literally. But I guess you could read that also as uh, the kind of freedom that love brings or the kind of freedom that nature brings. So there's all this kind of, it's kind of a love song to nature, to, to early mornings, to dawn time childhood to innocence the sun rises to the 